Praise the Lord, dear friend. Thomas Matthew the Fourth coming to you live with some words from heaven. You're feeling a very strong anointing to prophesy, to release words from heaven. I'm continuing in the money series, prophesying money resources and money's resources and relationships into your world. Because I think that's what you need more than anything right now. Based on everything that's been going on. Um, Amos 3.7 says, Surely the Lord God does nothing unless he first reveals the secret to his servant, the prophet. A lion has roared, who will not fear? We are the lions, not them. Always remember that. I prophesy to you again that the, they keep extending the lockdown, thinking they're doing something, but heaven is coming after them to break this thing, says the Lord. I am gonna break this thing, and I'm gonna let my people go free. I've not called and ordained them to stay in their houses, not called and ordained them to stay in their, out of their work, out of their business life. It's the plan of the enemy to destroy economies and to hurt people. There were plagues before, endlessly, in every century, every generation or so, and you never heard of such a thing before. And they went from one to the other. Wow. Woohoo, glory. I just love this. They went from one to the other, the lockdown to the, now the riots and destruction. If you can't see this thing hasn't been planned, then, you know, I don't know, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're switched on upstairs, so to speak, you know, hope the elevator is not stuck on the 13th floor, <laughs> as they say, the lights are on, but no one's home. Ooh, are you there? So you also need to not accept and tolerate the nonsense that's coming on from all these people that are trying to stop progress and hurt the righteous side, stop the church and uh, cause division and cause hatred and cause, you know, riots and violence. But the Lord says, get ready, my people, get ready. For what I'm about to do now, I'm very uh, uh, zealous over something that happened. What, what I'm praying for my partners, and I want to see you blessed. Now, this is not for someone who thinks they know me, but yet they're not really a friend, or they want to be critical or look at me from afar and think they know me. And but yet we don't hear from them. They're not connected. They're not showing a. Uh, a connection. So I say this is not for you. Then there's people that are, are takers. They're just there to take. They're not there to give. They give nothing. We know them. I wouldn't also say that that one is a partner. Maybe they think they have a relationship, but it's based on taking something, not giving something. The nature of God is to give. Someone says, well, I don't have a lot to give. Well, yes, you do. You have your heart and you have your mind. You may not have money. But not everybody has a lot of money. Some people have a lot of money and their heart's not somewhere. But let's say you uh, you uh, could, could give more of your heart, you know, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Like we know where the hearts of people are based on how they carry on and interact can you say amen so I have a whole two chapters on prophecy in this book this book is brilliant and all of my books are but prophetic keys to successful living and um, wow I gotta throw the book to the side because I can't even do it right now 
to teach, I, I feel like I want to say a few things. Now, the other night, a couple of nights ago, I had a, an amazing visitation from the Lord. An amazing visitation from the Lord. And I saw... Boy, I'm I'm really I'm really protective over this. I'll tell you the truth because uh, my heart is to see everybody get blessed, but I want to know that they're in the right the right camp, you know. Or maybe they'll get a miracle and then they'll 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 figure out how to connect. Now you read between the lines and see what I'm saying because this is not this is not for everybody. What but it was for me. What the Lord brought. And show me in the vision was for me, but I know it's not just for me. It's also for an army of people. Oh, God, I feel this. It's for a, a group of people that are going to connect. And those that are connected. Brilliant ways you can, you, can, you can partake of this. I, I was sitting and then I laid down and I was praying. And I put my hand straight up in the air and it was like my hand was, you know, strong to stay there forever and not move. There was this guy in India, it's full of the devil, completely demon possessed. He kept his arm in the upright position for many years. <laughs> it's just like some satanic thing. And they're in a place where they do all this worship of idols and stuff. They don't live normal lives. They don't go to offices. They're just out there in the wilderness doing this, you know, somewhere in India. But uh, that's just a funny analogy. I had seen that in the news. This guy that had his hand up forever. I mean, for years, like, you never would put it down in the down position. For what? The devil made him do that, to make a fool out of him. There's no, you know, said, oh, he's the holy man. No, no, he wasn't the holy man. He was the holy fooled man. Jesus. I read somewhere that there was a guy in Iraq who didn't bathe for 60 years. He had crust, brown crust on his skin. How disgusting. He was just possessed by the devil and wouldn't take a bath or a shower for 60 years. And he was like 60, maybe 70 years old. And since he was a boy, he decided, what makes people do things like the, the, the devil? And that's a, co a, a, a counterfeit of something that the Lord would cause somebody to do to, to serve him. But, you know, I say that for a reason, because I want to provoke people. I didn't plan to say that before. It just came right now by the Holy Ghost. But those are strange examples. But I, I want to say we need to take more of our time and energy to do great things, exploits, physically, as well as, you know, just in our mind thinking or praying some words from our mouth to prostrate ourselves, or to, I had my hand up, and it was supernatural. I mean, my hand was stayed, was, was going to stay up. I, it didn't matter how long it was. My body became completely inundated, like flooded with the presence of the Lord, with the anointing. And I started to weep, and I thought, oh my God, Lord, something's happening here right now. What, what? And uh, I looked up into heaven, and I put this worship song on, and all of a sudden, I saw I saw the Lord Jesus, and I saw a crown on his head. And then I was able to see deeper toward it, and it was filled with jewels. Jewels, diamonds, rubies, emeralds, sapphires, whatever. You know, the, the, the best ones, the most expensive ones, you know, there are rocks that are crystal, they, they call it a gate, and another translation of it, then there's the onyx, and then there's the onyx stone, and those are not as valuable. The diamonds are the most precious because of the pressure they go through, and also the value in the markets and all that we see, and the rubies and the emeralds and the sapphires, valuable. What's more valuable than that? I heard about tanzanite. It's another blue stone from Tanzania and Africa, but it doesn't have the value of the sapphire. The sapphire is some something on a different level. Then the emerald is green, but you also have green garnet or this other green stone that's much less in value. Kind of looks similar, but it's a different color. It's a lighter shade. It doesn't have that deep, deep green. Then you have rubies. I'm sure there are some other red stones. I think garnet I can't remember the name of that stone that uh, 
they even make rings out of with the stone. It looks kind of purplish, you know, but there's that red ruby. There's something about it and it's very valuable. So I would imagine because I saw those colors, but I would imagine I'm seeing the most expensive, best, greatest stones. And um, the Lord then began to like shine. He had an expression on his face. And he, he looked so, so excited. He, and it was so much power, like lightning, like dynamite explosive, like fire. Like you, you can't explain the realm of power. My God, I feel the anointing of this is powerful. Receive it right now, especially partners. I, I mean, I'll throw this out to everybody. Y'all can get blessed and tap the grace. But don't think that you, you're going to be a nominal person and not in the real flow of things. You get me? And uh, get everything that God has. But something amazing happened. And I have to tell you what happened next. The jewels began to multiply from the crown. Not like they would like grow. But they were there but from somewhere. And they began to pour from his head. Jesus, they began to pour. And there was so much power in the atmosphere. I can't explain it. If you've ever felt the power of God, or seen the power of God, power of God move where someone could pray for someone and they'll fall to the floor or they'll shake or they'll begin to scream or shout. The presence of God is there. That is like one trillionth of one percent less. I mean, compared to what I was seeing happening in heaven. And the Lord and the jewels begin to pour from his crown and I, and I had my hand up, one hand was up, and it was just up in the position of worship, and then I just took my other hand, and I began to, then I tried to put them together, and I was like, uh, like, Lord, my, my bags, my accounts, my pockets, my house, my, my offices, my physical places, any vaults or safes, or any place, kind of thing, just fill them with this, I receive it, because the Lord showed it to me, was giving me, and it was jewels pouring down from his crown, down upon me, my God. God, there's an anointing for wealth creation, for prosperity, for breakthrough, for abundance. I'm telling you, it's so powerful. My God. And uh, let me make this uh, a part three in that, in that uh, segment I was doing about I'm prophesying monies, jewels if you want to, fine, commodities, uh, uh, and, 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 and resources, which is all of this, and relationships, things that you need to happen right now in your life especially you as my partner. I want to throw the call out right now for many more people to partner with me. Why? Why? Because of this. Yes, we have need for the world missions and for our administration and our media and all the things we're, we're getting for that and the new studio and, and, and premises and all that and all the people we, we, we bring on to work for us and all that. Sure. And, and things like that to take care of that. But I, I want to go a step higher than that. I want you to partner with this glory that I saw the Lord Jesus pouring jewels down upon me. It's upon me. It was coming direct to me. And then, of course, I'll have too much because they kept pouring in the vision and they wouldn't stop. And I'm weeping and I'm feeling the glory cover me from head to toe, even beyond where my head is and my feet is and my arms can go out and the, 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 the dimensions of my physical frame. It was just beyond like the cloud was covering me and I was seeing this and I was weeping and I was crying and I was rejoicing and I was worshiping and I was thanking God and I was receiving saying, I receive, I receive, I receive. And they were coming down and there were too many to count, too many to hold. And finally, the vision ended after a while and it was still pouring. And I believe right now there's an anointing of overflow coming right now. You need to tap this grace. Even if I never knew you before, I welcome you to this. I wasn't saying like nobody could be a part of this. You know, you can. But please have a beautiful heart to be a giver. Have a beautiful heart to be a partaker of the grace. Find a way to tap the grace. Don't just be like, you know, well, I'm just here to take something and give you. No, 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 no. Tap into the grace. What you have could never be enough for what I walk in and need to operate in my ministry throughout the earth. So don't get caught, any caught up, any way caught up or bent on that. But you, what you do in sowing into this work is for yourself. It's a transaction you're making with God and with heaven. And I want to tell you the jewels were pouring. There were diamonds, there were rubies, there were emeralds, there were sapphires.
They were beautiful. And they were coming down countless. It wasn't just like a few bags or a place to even fill one house or one office or building. They were more than that. They just kept pouring. And I'm seeing them pouring, pouring, pouring. And the Lord says, my son, my daughter, this is a time of a wealth creation movement like has never been seen before in the earth. A transfer of wealth, even in the downtime of what's been going on and all this nonsense going on with the pan pandemic and pff, planned. And now there's violence and destroying and destroying things in people's economies and businesses. It's a time we need the supernatural transfer of God. Real estate prices have to plummet because business has plummeted. And uh, I want to say you need to be in a position to step up and own property. It's the time now. If you didn't have an, uh, a, a lot, any before or a lot before or enough before, you're going to have more than enough in this next season. It's time to take to take and possess. It's time like a transfer of wealth like I did when I brought my children out of Egypt, says the Lord, and I put the wealth of the nation upon them. The Lord says this, this glory is pouring. I'm going to continue in this. But I want you to tap this grace right to me. Connect, replay this, share this with your friends. This is a very short part I'm doing right now. I'm going off the air here, but I'm, I want to tell you, thus saith the Lord, it's the time of the wealth transfer. And I'm, I'm the prophet, me. I'm the one who's bringing that to you, my friend, and to our people. And you that are connected with this grace upon this man right here. Dr. T.M. Ford, Thomas Matthew the Ford, you are going to be blessed in this month even, even this season even, in the next many coming days and weeks and some months if it's, or however long that takes for the process to flow. But the Lord says, I am releasing my blessing upon you, my precious chosen one. When you've pleased me, you've unlocked my blessing. When you haven't, you're still there. Yeah, you're saved. Yeah, you know God. Yeah, you read your Bible. You go to church. That's fine. But there is a special remnant I'm talking to, a special part of our tribe that are going to tap this grace forcefully and say, God, cry out to God like I did the other night when I had the vision and say, Lord, the grace that you put upon Thomas Manton, please give it to me. Remind him of what he, he was pouring to me and say, I want to tap into that grace and you will begin to receive supernaturally. And I declare it to you, my precious one, says the Lord. Woo, Lord Jesus. Now, as I've been doing, I'm sending the laws of success as an e-book or the benefits of excellence to those that are partnering with the ministry. Sow a seed into this grace today. Get the number from God. Get the amount from God. Let it be generous. All the ways to sow will be on the screen in the heading of the thing, and, do sh and in the comments. Do share this. Also, write me your prayer request and let me know how I can pray for you because I love you as a pastor, as a prophet, as a friend to you, and as a mentor and a coach. I love you much, and I'll talk to you on the next broadcast. I am praying and releasing this grace in Jesus' name. Love you much.